Okay guys, um, <clears throat> a bit rainy out here today, but I'm just, uh, just wanted to do this video anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm going to talk about The Notebook, which is a film, quite, it's quite a famous film. Um, I hadn't really heard about it before I watched it, but um, apparently it's just, it seems quite famous, like quite a lot of people have heard of it. Uh, but anyway, um, I want to do a critique about the film because I think a lot of people love young men like um, me. Um, <clears throat> grown up with a sort of idea of 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 um, romance and love that isn't quite. Uh, from, from films like The Notebook, that isn't really reflective of the our, the experience we're going to have. Um, so I want to do this video as a sort of warning of what um, what lays in store for you as a sort of antidote to what The Notebook represents. Uh, now, obviously, I don't, I'm not saying I hate the film. I, like, it's quite a sweet film, and you know, it's it's obviously a nice story. Um, but but I do think um, I do think the narrative, it the sort of plot line, it, it lays out is is unconvincing to say the least. So, if you don't know what the notebook is, I mean, it's basically like a typical love story, and there's a sort of it's it's sort of two, um, it's two a spoiler alert by the way, it's two um, time sort of timelines right. So there's there's a, a sort of separate story about the couple getting old together, and the wife's got dementia, and is it the wife? Yeah, the wife's got dementia and she doesn't really remember the husband, but the husband tells the wife um, the story of how they, they got together um, on a little notebook. Uh, very, very sweet, right? Um, and I'm, not, I'm not focusing on that story too much, but there's this, then there's the other storyline, which is told through the husband, if that makes sense. So it's a bit Odyssean, if you will. Um, and the story that the husband tells is of how they're growing up, um, how they got together as, as uh, teenage sweethearts and stuff. And, um, and, well, you know, the sort of trials and tribulations they experienced. So, uh, yeah, so, so that story is where I really have, um, issue, I think. So, I think... The, it's all good for the first few bits. Like it's, it's quite traditional, like the way they get together. Uh, that's quite convincing, I think. Like um, that they, um, they're sort of childhood sweethearts and everything. Um, that's kind of, you know, fine, sure. Um, but then, basically, the whole story. Um, basically, she meets. Another, they kind of split up and go their separate paths, and then there's uh, another guy that comes into the girl's life. She works as a nurse in the Second World War, and she meets another guy through that who's like a very attractive guy, you know got a rich family, um, good looking, you know, um, uh, a sort of quote unquote high value man. And she's forgotten about this other guy at this point. They, um, they think, uh, she, she thinks, you know, like that's ended. Um, and then, so she accepts the proposal from this other guy and then I don't quite remember what happens, but basically they meet, 
she meets the old guy she was originally with. Um, and then she starts having lots of doubts about it. And, um, and eventually she ch chooses the first guy, right? Um, instead of the... Um, the guy who's, like, very, um, sort of got lots of old, got from rich parents and, and all the rest of it. I don't know, I just, I don't think that would happen in real life. Because I just don't see what the first guy really, obviously he's a likeable character. And you want him to get the woman in the end, and he does, right? That's the whole romance of the film, but... Um, I just don't see that actually happening in real life. Because, well, what does he really... You know, marriage is kind of... Uh, relationships are, are kind of predicated on what you bring to the table. And... Otherwise, like, what's the point of it, right? Um, and I just don't really see, apart from the nostalgia they had of when they were t as childhood sweethearts and stuff, I don't really see what this other guy brings to the table. Apart from, the no yeah, just the nostalgia. You know, I mean, he's, he's kind of living at home in his parents' house that he's renovating. And he's a bit, he's a bit of a bum, really. Um, and obviously it's... It, it reflects well, I guess, on the on the girl that she goes for. You know, she she um, she still goes for the other guy, but you know, I'm not. It's just a bit stupid. It's just like that just wouldn't happen in real life. She'd be like, okay, we had a nice thing when we were childhood sweethearts, but that was a long time ago, and. To be honest, I've upgraded. I mean, tell me if I'm just being too, too, um, tell me if I'm being too negative, but I just think that's kind of how these things go from, from my observations about, um, marriage and, and relationships generally. Um, and also there's like a scene where, um, an old, basically, they kind of, when she's kind of deliberating on which guys to choose, she goes around the old guy's house, the guy she eventually picks, and then her, this guy's, like, side ting turns up, and, like, she's kind of, um, they're not going out, but you know what I mean, um, and, and she sees him with um, this other girl, and and she, this this sort of side girl is is really happy to meet this girl because she's told the guys told her all about uh, that that girl and she's like oh so nice to meet you and then, then there's a cute little scene where they all um, um, they're like friends and it's like fuck off with that I have in real life um, <laughs> so I just think it's a bit ridiculous. Um, and just to, to go back to what I'm saying with it, I don't, it's not, not I'm saying it's necessarily a bad film. I'm not necessarily saying that, I'm, it's not, you know, there are good messages to be learned from it. The problem I have with it is, I, I, I think a lot of people watch this film, and maybe when they're younger, or whatever, and they just think that's exactly how things are going to pan out. Um, you know, um, I'm not going to bring anything to the table and she's going to choose me anyway. Uh, so I, I, mean, I feel like a, a sort of Disney villain by saying this, but um, it's just true. It, like, it's just not going to pan out that way. Yes, it's touching that she does, um, and, you know, obviously, like, I like the guy's likeable character. But, um, yeah, I think you need to watch that film with just the... It's just, it's just so many films like that, just, just 
have people with a very naive understanding of love today, I think. So, yeah, I hope this is interesting. I think it's probably one of my worst videos because I'm not terribly good at explaining. Well, it's hard to articulate, really. Um, but I wanted to make a video on it for a while, so hope, uh, hope you found it interesting. Be, beware of um, naive films. <laughs>